Hey guys, so this is part of our quick look session where we're going to take the Titan X uh, and the Pascal series cards and we're going to have a look at uh, Octane Render this time around. Um, I will be doing a full review of the Titan XP uh, in the video editing like we usually do, but um, I thought I might uh, have a look at uh, Octane Render, which is something I use personally. But um, in saying that, this wouldn't be possible without a forum user who created the benchmark files by replacing some files. I'm not too sure how he done it, uh, but the forum users on Kia or on Sia, uh, thank you very much. This wouldn't be possible without him. Um, so today, we, uh, what we've done was we took the whole Pascal series, uh, minus the 1060, but uh, the 1080, the 1070, and the Titan XP, and uh, also had a Titan X of the Maxwell series here at the time, so I thought I might compare that up against each other. We overclocked and, and tweaked and tried to find uh, the maximum performance we could, and we also looked at what it cost per point in Octane Render, which we'll run through at the end. Literally just opening up that file, hitting run uh, on Octane Bench 3, we got the Maxwell Titan doing 118.56, uh, Titan, the Pascal doing 169.88. Uh, 1070 was 119.01, whilst the GTX 1080 was 128.48. Uh, stock clocks uh, used Devgo Precision to ramp up the fans to 70%. Uh, here we saw the Titan Maxwell do it in 123.38, the Pascal do it at 170.95, the 1070 doing it at 120.10, and the 1080 doing it at 129.05. Here we saw the Maxwell uh, have a larger increase and I think that's due to the Maxwell being quite hot and the cooler between the two cards is not as good I saw uh, stock clock stock fan the Maxwell was up at uh, 80 degrees whereas the Titan X Pascal was just at 70 so a huge difference there and that was probably hindering its performance on a stock clock stock fan okay so here we've done a plus 100 clock 70% fan profile 120% uh, or max power target with it set to priority uh, we had the Maxwell Titan do it at 128.43 the Titan Pascal doing it at 173.83, the 1070 at 122.92, and the 1080 at 133.12. Okay, so a plus 200 clock, 70% fan profile, max power target, uh, Titan Maxwell at 138.03, a Titan Pascal at 178.84 and the 1070 at 124.19. Here the 1080 just couldn't uh, complete the test. Uh, could be a range of reasons, but uh, put it down to probably a poor, uh, poor sample. Okay, so only the two Titans could achieve the following, uh, could finish the following test. Uh, it was a plus 250 clock, same fan profile and power target as before. Uh, we had the Maxwell do it at 140.5. And the Pascal do it at a staggering 180.38. Um, basically, that's faster than a Titan Z, I guess, according to Octane Bench. So crazy speeds there. I'd love to see what they can do on a water block. Okay, so now the price to point. So how I worked this out was I divided the score by the price it cost. So I've got at the bottom of each graph, I have the price that it cost me to buy it in. It, this is relevant for me and the, the, it's about the same price across the board. But um, in Australia, they're the prices that I paid. Uh, and the Titan X Pascal was $11.32 a point. Uh, the Titan X Maxwell was $12.10 per point. Uh, the 1070 here at $6.14 per point, uh, close to half price uh, compared to the Pascal Titan and the 1080 was doing it at $8.64. Okay, so uh, quick recap. I think uh, biggest surprise, I guess, was the, the price to performance between the two uh, Titan Xs. Uh, I was shocked at initially at the price of the Titan XP, but I guess NVIDIA knew what they were doing there and they sort of priced it exactly the same. Uh, definitely uh, going on to the 1070, um, or just in general, the Pascal, I guess the 1070 is the cheapest uh, there with price to performance. Um, and you know, I think two of them, if you if your system can take two, uh, I think two of them are, are, are you know, two of them in a the system would definitely be much better than a single Titan X. Um, you know, I think the Titan X is is, you know it's a VRAM sort of issue and we'll be following this up with our usual uh, video editing benchmark so uh, if you like what you saw subscribe comment dislike like whichever one it is um, until next time thanks for watching